Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. My name is Zombie Call and thank you for tuning in. Um, today we have actually three things to do. We are going to the trader, sell a bunch of stuff. Overnight I was looking what we can sell. Then the second thing is we start a farm. So I was actually creating as many seeds as I could. And I also made the iron garden hole so that we can start farming. And I just realized that next to the trader, where's the trader here? Next to the trader, we have two treasure chests. So I think we should dig them out and have a look what's in them. So yes, this is what we are going to do for this episode. I hope you will enjoy it. So let's get started. The farm. Hmm. I think we should do the farm behind the house, somewhere here, because we have a flat area here. I mean, what can go wrong, right? So I think we should have the farm around here. And I want to have it a little bit, hmm, how do you say it, more organized. So first of all, I will cut down the tree and I will punch the grass so that no plant fibers are in our way and I will come back to you as soon as I have the ground fixed with what I want to do. I am punching so much grass like we will have plant fibers forever. There will be no problem with plant fibers at all after we finish. Okay, so I think there should be enough ground to create the, the farm. Okay, so this is the the farm area, maybe a little bit too big, maybe I overdid it a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Anyways, um, yes, let's destroy the, the bird's nest, we don't need. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I am going to create a 5x5 five five farm and to distinguish where one farm starts and another one ends. Um, we have to dig down one and put some frames in. So let me just, you know, here, let's start next to this bird's nest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this means like one, two, three, four, five. So this will be one area here, two, three, four, five, and then here. So. This is basically um, within the frames will be the, um, the actual farm area. And what we are going to do, we have one, two, three, four different, um, you know what, let's eat it. We have four different seeds at the moment. So we are going to do four of these structures. So let me lay these out. And I will come back to you when I finished with the outline. Okay, this is how it's going to look like. So we have six separate fields, each of them five by five. So we have 25 things we can plant. Um, and we also have some space to even expand it in the future if we want to. So what we are going to do next is um, we are going to shuffle one deep because I don't like the frames being on top. I more uh, prefer it if we could lay down the frames one deep so it's going to be flush with the ground. So I will start digging out all the beautiful ground and then we will place the, the wood frames one down. So actually I will just show you. It's like that. So we are going to place them here and then I don't have enough wood. No, I don't have any wood at me. Um, and then we have to upgrade them. So basically this is not enough wood to upgrade a freaking frame. So let's get some wood and then I just show you. I mean, not that you might not know, but 
yes, something like that. So then it looks nice and flush. Just have a look how beautiful it is. Like when I was digging out the ground and then I just looked up and the sun is rising and a beautiful house is there and the trees and it's just looking so beautiful. Alpha 17 is just beautiful. You cannot say anything else. It's just beautiful. I just wanted to share this. Um, okay, let's keep on working. Okay, we are nearly done with the digging. So only this one time. Okay, here we go. So now we are we are ready in placing all the frames down and upgrade them. And then there's one more thing I need to do. Um, because the area, even though it's the same height, it's a little bit different. So what I mean is like, as we move on to the last field here, as you can see, like I placed down the blocks here, but actually it's half of the block already higher. So what we are going to do is to make all of these things flat, same high, we just place blocks here on top of this. This will help <laughs> us flatten out the area in general. So as you can see here, like as soon as I place a block, the ground can, is going down. So yes, this makes everything the same height. So it will not look weird. And now you just pick up the frames here. Whoop, pick them all up. Come on, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. And now we have a beautiful flat ground. And now you can see the difference like from from this field to that field. It's different. Yes, so we will do this with all of the fields here. Just place blocks, make everything the same height, and then um, I will upgrade the frames. Nice, just the last block for upgrading. Then here we made a mistake, we upgrade this block twice, but it's done. This is how it will look like. So this is the farm. I flattened out the area for the farm. Um, now everything is flat, nice, beautiful. And what we have to do now is we have to take our hoe and then we have to hoe the ground. Come on, hold the ground. And then I will plant our beautiful plants. Besides the fact that the tilted dirt looks like, I don't know, not properly loaded in, we are ready to plant our plants. Yay! So let's start with aloe vera. We should make an aloe vera field here. Let's plant the eight seeds we have and then we can extend the seeds as soon as they have grown. I would say let's do the chrysanthemum seeds, chrysanthemum seeds here. Come on, plant it. Don't be such an asset. Okay, nice. And coffee. Coffee will be here. Let's plant the coffee beans we have. And then we have some golden rod tea seeds. So let's plant the golden rod here. Come on, plant it here in this corner. Nice. And then we have our first little but pretty farm. Yay! We made it. So beautiful, we have our first farm. Since we finished with the farm, what we should do next is go to the trader and, you know, sell the stuff we need to sell. So I will come back to you as soon as I arrived at the trader. Okay guys, this is just too good to be true. We have to ride this guy over. Come on! <laughs> come on, let's do one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Whoa, whoa, this guy. <laughs> he just flew like nothing. Oh man, this is so much fun riding over zombies with the bicycle. <laughs> it's a thing, it's a really nice thing. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I will. I will put you out of your misery. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. Yeah, anyways, just wanted to show you. It's just beautiful. Here we are at the trader. 
We made it. Yay. Oh, and I can already hear a vulture. We just entered the desert and there's already a vulture. It's just crazy. These things. Anyways, we made it. So let's go in. Close the door. Let's go in. And let's have a look. Close the door. Oh man, yeah, Jen. You are pretty manly with your manly voice. SMG or first aid kits? I think we should take the first aid kits. Because we have a SMG, we can repair the one we have. So we should take the first aid kits. Let me see your inventory, little Jane. Because I have a lot of things to sell. But I just rem remembered what we have to do or what we could do is we could spend some points in better barter. Where is it? Intelligence? Yes, here it is. Because get a 30% better deal buying and selling items. I think this sounds good. Sounds good to me. Let's buy this. Yay. Next level, intellect level 7. And actually, you know guys, we, in order to make the cement mixer, which is under advanced engineering here, we need intellect level 7 anyways. So what we are going to do is we buy intellect oh man this takes so many freaking points seriously three points okay but i think it has to be done because we need cement until the seventh sword night anyway so let's do it while we can do it and then better border we could buy a better border point and get 40 percent better deals buying and selling items you know what let's do it points are there for spending anyways right and now we get the best deals ever uh, more or less. Okay, let's sail the candy cane. Let's sail the other candy cane. 403. Wow. Let's sail the compound bow and the uh, hunting rifles we don't need. The pistols we don't need. Okay, not interested in pistols anymore. And let's sell the shotguns we don't need. And the SMGs. And the nerdy glasses, because we have one on us at the moment. And let's sell the flashlights, the gold nuggets. Let's sell all of the money. Uh, what else do we have? Um, okay, this is what she's not interested in. So I think this is all what we can sell. Let's sell the paper. Okay, steroids, we will take them just in case we need them later. Yes, I think that's all we can sell. So what we can do is have a look at the secret stash. She has forged steel, but we have a lot of forged steel, so we don't need this. She has a level 6 compound bow. Oh man, this is actually pretty tempting because I like the compound bow so much. And she has mini bike handlebars. Mmm, that's also tempting because then we do not have to buy the mini bike perk because we could craft it. We already have the mini bike chassis. Ah, uh, but we need the seat, right? We need a mini bike seat. Mm, okay. She has mining helmet, night vision. I think night vision is not working. Because you don't see clear at night even though you have them. Battery bank. We don't need a battery bank now. Hmm. What else does she have? She has an iron pick we don't need. Some forged iron. But we have a lot of forged iron. So we don't need that. What else do you have? Snowberries. Nope. Thank you. Food. Uh, you have some corn. We could buy the corn. But nah. Nah. You have some ammunition. I mean, you have some 9mm rounds. I think 9mm is fine. Mm. No. What else do you have? Some scrap black armor, but it makes us slower. Mm. You don't really have things I want to have or want to buy. I mean, we could buy the 9mm rounds. How many? 5,100. No, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. You know what? The mini bike handlebars, it's only 478. We should buy this. Then we can craft the mini bike if we find a seat. Okay, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you, it's a pleasure doing business with you too. Do you have any jobs? They are all so far away. I mean, seriously, there's a clear zombie in 2.4 kilometers. Let's do this one. And let's have a look where it is on the map. Where is it? Here. That's actually good because it's near where we are. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. And now let's go to the treasure maps, the treasure chests, and then let's start digging. But first of all, let's kill the zombie. Because I want your experience. Give me your experience. Thank you. Before we go to the treasure chest, there was just an airdrop coming in. So I think, whoa, I think we will check out the airdrop first because it's not far away. I mean, you can see it in the distance anyways. And it's actually more or less the direction we have to go for the for the treasure map anyways. So uh, not really more or less, but kind of. And so I thought, Wow, this is pretty steep. I'm not even sure. Yep, we could made it. But it was more more lucky that we made it. Come on. I want to arrive there before the drop is reaching the ground. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Yes. And now I'm cold, freezing. Uh, the biomes here are just insane. Okay, it's coming down there. We cannot make it in time. No. Yes, okay. It's fine. It's super freezing cold. Let's get this drop. Nice a sniper rifle. Oh my god! The dog. You know what? I need the food. You know what? We should take the pistol out and shoot the guy in the face. Because why not? Right? Why not? We got even. Wow, how many. How many shots does this take? this guy takes. It's crazy. But it's good. It's okay. I think it was a big guy. A big wolf. Because he took so many shots and he gave us pretty pretty um, much meat. Raw meat. Okay, anyways, let's go to the treasure map. The treasure chest. And hope. Hopefully it's not in the ice biome. In the snow biome. But we will see. We have a big problem. The treasure is right under this freaking small mountain here. And what you basically do with a treasure chest is you measure out where the treasure is, but with a mountain, you cannot actually measure out. So, oh man, the only thing we can do is have a look at the map see exactly where the middle is and try to get there oh man this is just so bad okay you know what guys i think oh man you know what we should we should give it a try i will try to find this treasure chest i will try to measure out where it might be um now we are thirsty, of course we are, because we are in a freaking desert. Um, I'm not even sure how to do this. Okay, let's go up. Where is the last point? Here. Here. Okay. This means here we have to make put a frame. And then we have to go right to the other side. Okay, here. Let's go back. Where was it? Here. And then we have to put a frame here. So it's somewhere in between here. What we have to do now is we have to go this way. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. And it starts around here. And there's a freaking bird. And then we have to go this way and see where it stops here. Here. It stops. Okay. Okay. It's actually not that bad. Okay. Let me get rid of this guy because I'm pretty sure he will kill us. You have not even time to dig for a freaking chest in the desert because there are these guys immediately coming for you. Come on, come back, come back. Come back, I want to shoot you in the, in the birdie ass. Of course I missed him. Come on. Yes, we got him. And now he's dead. So hopefully he will leave us alone. And other birds will leave us alone. 
You know what? It looks like the treasure chest could be exactly where this bird's nest is. So basically what you're doing now is like you measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually here or here where the bird's nest is. And then I think it should be the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, yes, six. Okay, so it's approximately here around this corner. So I think I will start digging here. Come on, bird's nest. Oh, there it is. This was easier than expected. Wow. 35 silver nuggets, 5 gold nuggets, and 4766 tokens. That's crazy. It was really good, and it was so fast. Okay, this is the first treasure. Let's go to the second one. Of course, the second treasure map is also more or less on the hangs of a cliff of a really big mountain. So, we will do the same here. We will measure out, or try our best in measuring out. Come on, let's get up. Let's get up this mountain. Get faster up. Okay, here we go. Here it starts. Is it here? No, it's this one here. Okay. And then let's go all the way back to the other side. Here. Exactly at the bottom of the mountain. Oh man, this was funny. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here. And then we have to go this way and see where the treasure stops here. And then the other way. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here. It's okay. And now we do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here. And then hopefully we are able to find it. Any zombies around? Any vultures around? Does not seem like that. Okay. So let's start digging. And hopefully we find it as fast as we found the other one. Because mountains like always tend to be a little bit difficult in terms of how deep it is. But we will see, we will see. Okay, and I will let you guys know as soon as I find the chest. Okay, just a second when I stopped recording, I found the chest. It's here. Wow, 15,000 coins. Seriously. It's just beautiful. So many coins. So I think what we should do is we should go back to the trader, sell all the stuff we found in the treasure chest. Ooh, we made it back to the trader. I'm not a stranger, Jane. You just saw me like 10 minutes ago. Anyways, I have some things to sell. For example, gold nuggets. Here you have 10 gold nuggets. And I have 47 silver nuggets to sell. Give me all the money you have, girl. And now, I'm going to buy secret stash. Kompompo level 6. Yes, baby. Give me your Kompompo level 6. So beautiful. And we still have a full stock. It's just beautiful. Nice. So what we are going to do is we are going to sell this one. Because we have a level 6 one. Yay. Okay. What else? Um, We could buy the Forge Steel. I don't know what. Let's buy it. That's okay. We could buy the SMG, the level 6 SMG. But I mean it's only 5120, right? Mm. But I think... We should buy the ammunition. You know what, let's buy the ammunition. Because we have weapons and we find weapons, so it, it's fine. And it does not have to be a level 6 weapon anyways, because it's just a durability. 
it's not that these weapons are much stronger. Okay, I think we are looking good. We are looking really good. Uh, thank you. No, thank you. I thank you. Go with the manly voice. We are finally nearly home. And I'm looking really bad with water and with food. We have to eat something. And we have to drink something, but I'm out of drinks, so I have to get some new drinks from the chest from home and I have to cook new drinks. And I got food poisoning in between, so I lost health. But we were able to overcome it. Um I used some bandages to get the health maximum up again. And yeah, this is how we look like. Like let's eat a bacon and egg. We don't have any drinks, so what we have to do is get drinks from here. Oh, we only have five drinks. It's actually really, really bad. So I guess we will cook some more water. Uh here. Here's the Oh, here we have some more. That's good. You know what? Let's cook some water. Ten should be fine. Where's the water? Water. Bottle of murky water. Four minutes. Yeah, we only need four minutes. Why can I only cook 68? Ah, because this is the snow. No, 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 no. I don't wanna, I don't want to boil the snow. I want to make water. Yes, that's right. Oh man, I was a little bit confused there. So this should be enough. So let's boil some more water and let's get some more water into us so that we can overcome our thirst. Anyways, we made it. I also picked up some yucca fruits so that we can make yucca seeds out of them. 21, perfect. And I also picked up some more aloe vera seeds. Uh, not seeds, aloe vera so that we can make some more aloe vera seeds and I can plant them downstairs in our garden and then we will have yucca and aloe vera and all the, the good stuff except tomatoes and other stuff. You know what, let's get, go and plant the, the fruits and the plants. Is yucca a fruit? I think it might be. I don't know. Anyways, let's plant it and then this will be it for this episode today. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do me the favor, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share feedback. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. So thank you very much for watching. Have a really nice day. I will see you later in the next episode. And yes, enjoy. Matane. It's hard night action. Yay. Just because, you know, we have to take the chance to get all the experience we need. And hordes are the best thing. You can get so many experience from wandering hordes, especially if they are not running. Because it's still not night. So let's kill them. Kill them quick before the night starts. But I think we will be fine. It's not that there are so many zombies. But perfect. Perfect timing, right before the night, we have a wandering horde coming in with a lot of biker zombies who have so much of beautiful experience to offer and I hopefully be able to level up. There's one guy left, uh, but I think she won't give us the experience we need to level up. Nope, unfortunately not.